So in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the cost of living in Thailand compared to the UK. Now, as you can probably tell, I am from the UK, but I've done a similar video about the cost of living in Chiang Mai. If you're thinking of living or visiting Chiang Mai, I would highly recommend checking out that other video as it has a little more detail, which may be more specific and appropriate. So let's have a look at the cost of living in pounds. So the overall cost of living in Thailand compared to the UK really differs depending on your lifestyle and the exact place you are going to live. In the north, in places such as Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, it's extremely cheap. You can survive very happily on less than seven or 800 pounds every single month. However, there may be some lifestyle luxuries that you'll need to cut out in order to meet that budget. Something that's more achievable is a target of £1,200. This is a great target as it gives you well over enough to survive and also have money for insurance or to send back home or to keep and invest. Also, one thing to consider, which is often forgotten about when moving to places such as Thailand, is the visa expenses, which will need to be paid every three months, six months or 12 months, which can add up so it's always best to have a little bit extra. So to summarize the overall costs before we go into a breakdown of everything, if you're living in the north, then you're gonna need a lot less than if you're living in Bangkok or if you're living in the south on some of the islands. If you're a single person, of course, it's gonna be much cheaper for you. Um, but if you're a family, perhaps you have two adults and two children, then a budget of at least 2,000 pounds all the way to 3,000 pounds a month is often recommended because this would include a lot of luxuries as well as insurance and school expenses that you may need if you're in a family. But again, this can also be much lower depending on the area you're living in. So let's have a little look at the rental costs in Thailand compared to the UK. Well, as you most likely know the prices for the UK, I'm not gonna be speaking about them so much. So let's have a look at Bangkok, for example. You can pay anywhere between 12,000 Thai bar to 16,000 Thai bar. Uh, for living in a standard condominium in Bangkok. And this is around 278 pounds to 371 pounds. Compare this to a city in the north, such as Chiang Mai, a standard one bedroom can cost you anywhere from 7,000 Thai bar to 10,000 Thai bar. And this can be as low as 162 pounds to 232 pounds. The next category is to transportation. So transportation costs in Thailand are often very low, but many expats in Thailand decide to rent a motorbike or a car, which can actually be purchased for around 2,000 to 3,000 Thai bar. My motorbike, which I rent, is around about 1,800 Thai bar. Alternatively, you also have the option to rent a car, which can be anywhere between 15,000 Thai bar to 22,000 Thai bar, which is approximately 348 pounds to 512 pounds per month. But again, this depends on your location and the type of vehicle you'll be hiring. It is also very easy to obtain a Thai driving license and a Thai driving license is often recommended because if the police stop you, which is of course a frequent occurrence, they can fine you up to 1,000 Thai bar. Usually the fee is around about 500 Thai bar, which is around about 10 to 12 pounds. Therefore, you'll be better off just applying for a Thai driving license if you're driving your own vehicle. You also have the option for other private and public transportation, but on average, speaking to many foreigners who are living in Thailand, as well as my own personal feedback, many people do not spend over 100 pounds a month on transportation. The next category is the Thai food cost. There are many different types of food in Thailand and the prices are incredibly low. If you're looking for a standard meal, which consists of chicken, rice, soup, and a drink, you can expect to pay anywhere from one to two pounds. If you're purchasing Western food, for example, hamburgers, pizza, etc., then you can expect to pay a lot more. Traditional Thai food will always be the cheapest food option. Additionally, if you're living in a tourist area, prices can be sometimes upwards of 20% higher compared to other regions. As someone who eats a lot of food, I can tell you that I have a mixture of Thai and Western food and my diet consists of regular takeouts 
And back in the UK, I was spending anywhere between 250 to 300 pounds on food. And here in Thailand, I'm barely hitting 150 pounds. However, if you decide to eat a lot of Western food, as mentioned, then that price can soon increase. When it comes to the fitness and leisure costs in Thailand, there's lots of different options. One of the most amazing things about living in Thailand is that there are so many different parks that are completely free. However, there are also gyms, including premium gyms and more low cost but low quality gyms. A standard gym membership in Thailand can cost anywhere between 15 to 20 pounds and usually the premium gyms cost anywhere between 40 to 50 pounds a month. There's also a great selection of hobbies. However, tourist areas typically have the highest prices in terms of leisure costs in Thailand. If you're coming to live in Thailand, I would strongly recommend finding health insurance in the country. It is often much cheaper and much easier, especially if you're looking to make a claim. 